The Timothy Group presents Pat Answers, a format in which we answer your questions regarding fundraising, capital campaigns, capacity building, team development, and more. Now here's your host, Pat McLaughlin. Hey, in my nearly 40 years in the stewardship and philanthropic uh, line of things, I've been asked all kinds of questions, and this one comes up this time on our Pet Answer section. It says, Pat, why doesn't Moves Management seem to work for our shop? And we all know about Moves Management and how it works and how we take the donor from this point to this point to this point and move almost like a chess match. A few years ago, I wrote a book called Major Donor Game Plan, and I took Moves Management and tried to absolutely smooth it out and make it much more simple for you and your team. And the six R's go like this. First of all, we start with research, internal and external. We get to know who the people are by looking at wealth, one of the wealth screening tools or something like that. Yes, they're anonymous. Yes, they're effective. Yes, they tell you a lot about the donor. Doesn't get you any closer to the donor relationship, but it does tell you some things about the donor and their capacity. So we start with research. And then we go to that next one, which is relationship, sometimes called romance, where we actually begin to drill deeper and share values, our organizational values and the values of the donor, we begin to share those. And so we go to research and then romance, relationship, and then we go to the request. If you've done the first two, that third part in my version of Moves Management, the request, is pretty easy. And often, because I know who they are, I've built some relationships, I know what their hot buttons are through building that relationship, I know what to ask them for and often know how to ask them uh, for how much. The next one is, uh, is recognition. We want to say thank you in an appropriate way. Folks, I don't want somebody from your finance office sending them a receipt. How about a handwritten note or how about a handwritten note by your CEO on their receipt as well as a handwritten note, a text, a phone call. Tell them you appreciate them. Tell them how much they mean to you. The next one is recruitment. Here's the ultimate test with the donor in our version of Moves Management. Do they feel good enough about you as a donor rep or you as a CEO or you as an executive director, a headmaster, to open their door when you say, who else do you know who through your influence might be open to hearing our story, sitting down with us and listening to the story? That's an important part. The sixth one in our moves management is, is reporting back how you use their money. What kind of eternal value did you present to them? What kind of changes were you able to make in the lives of clients or people they serve or students or impacting their campus or whatever it is? It's a real simple process. Research, romance, request, recognition, recruitment, and then reporting back how you use their, their resources. Folks, if you'll do that, you'll take moves management to the next level. And that's how Pat answers. You've been listening to Pat Answers with your host, Pat McLaughlin, founder and president of the Timothy Group. For more information about the Timothy Group and how they can help you reach that next level, visit their website, timothygroup.com. Be sure to tell others about this podcast and join us again for another Pat Answers.